I am Mette Karen Petersen, a passionate hunter from Denmark. Denmark is moving towards becoming the first country in the world banning lead in hunting ammunition. It is a hot topic. That combined with my personal motivation, I've started Dedicated Lead Free, with great support from Noma. I am not trying to convince you to be lead free, but I'm trying to communicate a complex topic in a simple and educational way so you have enough knowledge to choose whether you want to be dedicated lead free. So we just arrived to the hunting ground of Matthias and we saw plenty of wild boars on our way. So it's going to be super exciting. I'm in Sweden to hunt with my friend Matthias, which I'm looking so much forward to. He's a very experienced wild boar hunter. We're going to continue with the Eco Strike Silencer, and this is also a perfect option for hunting during nighttime since it got less muscle flesh. So I'm super excited. Let's go. Right now we are at a hill where there's lots of signs of wild boars. Actually they've done lots of damage to the crops out there. Um, what we're gonna do now is to just walk up and down as you can see Matthias is. We're trying to spot them over the fields, there are plenty of them. And see if they come up because it's like a quarter past nine. It's gonna be prime time now and it's still doing light or it's still light outside. So that's the plan for now. Another reason why I decided to try out the EcoStrike silencer is because it comes loaded with a higher velocity to compensate for today's short barrels. This gives me an extra edge when hunting with a copper bullet, especially if I have to take a shot at a longer distance. For this hunt we'll start out with the traditional optic because it's still light when we're heading out for the wild boars. If it turns into darkness we just very easily switch it into the thermal scope so we can continue our night hunt. Hunting wild boar in the crops is one of the most popular summer hunts in the middle and southern part of Sweden where there's lots of farmland. It's an exciting hunt but also an important test to fill out for hunters in order to reduce the damage of the crops. When choosing a rifle scope, make sure to prioritize good light transmission and preferably some kind of illuminated dot. Wild boars are typically most active during the low light of morning and evening, and magnification can be anything from low to high, depending on how close you manage to get to the wild boars. For this hunt, I have chosen a good all-round magnification, which gives me plenty of options in the crops. Wild boars actually create quite a lot of noise themselves, which is an advantage for us while stalking, especially because we're three people out here. Instead, it's the wind direction that matters the most. They can pick up your scent from a long way off and vanish instantly if they catch up on it. One of the biggest challenge while hunting among the crops is to identify and choose the right boa to shoot. Our focus is primarily on the young ones, the yearlings with a brownish hue, as we want to avoid taking down a large female. Bonus is they offer the best meat in my opinion. I am fortunate to have the highly experienced Matthias by my side to make sure we choose the right wild boa.
Yes, man, Matthias. Got a hammer. We got it. And it was bigger than I expected it was. That's a nice, good size. Perfect. With a bit, bit high. Um, shot placement, but it looks like it fell down, like on the spot, right? Jeg vil sige, jeg synes det der var svært her, det var at vi så rigtig mange grise mm. flere forskellige steder, og jeg fulgte hele tiden denne her, men det var simpelthen svært at se den i det her. Så da jeg endelig havde det her fri, så sigtede, altså det er her jeg har sigt, det er blevet det er, det er svårt i, i spangmål, når man inte är van. Man sikt håller oftast lite för högt. Ja. Men det går bra. Det gick bra. Tusen tack. Kämpe tack. It should be up, up, up here from the angle that I shot. Why do we shoot the medium size? För det blir bättre att skjuta bort de här mindre grisarna. Så håller man dem borta. Okay. Och sen så vill vi spara eh, hondjuren, stora hondjur, yeah. Okej. Okay. Det ger ju god mening. Och den här, det är ju också en god störelse att leva med av istället för en stor en. Plus bonus. De är lite nemmare att dra ut till bilen än en kämpe. Så det er perfekt. Perfekt. Perfekt, ja. I'm walking around me with my daughter, Noma, and Yes, it is difficult to hunt with a baby and yes, I would not be able to succeed tonight as we did if it wasn't because of this team, the whole team. And that's just teamwork and part of the Norma family. Uh, I've had such a good experience with Matthias, Stefan behind the camera and one of Matthias' hunting friends named Stefan. There was such a nice guy walking with the stroller up and down, up and down for like one and a half hour while we were out here. And that's also part of hunting. Hunting is something you can do like for the whole life. And when you get a little child, if you can bring her or him out, you should try it out. I do it and yeah, we succeeded because we have the team. And uh, this episode goes out to the whole team, definitely. Put it up. Når denne her, den skal sendes ind til trikintest, hvor skærer du et stykke fra? Skærer du den her masken? Okay. Ja. 25, 25 gram. Okay. Skikker vi ind til... Ja. Og I tager altid derfra? Ja. Yes. Vi kigger lige nu efter skudplacering indefra, for at se, hvordan skuddet det ligesom har, øh, har påvirket kødudvækkelsen, men det er jo ikke et helt godt skud at lave en skudanalyse på. Ja, man ser med de her snabbe ekspanderende kuderne, hvilken effekt det har. Ja. Uh, nu skjøt vi Mette veldig høgt. Ja. Ind. Og ud her. Og så ud her. Ja. Og det er også... Man ser at kulan ekspanderer utroligt snabbt og har en utroligt bra verkningsgrad. Ja. 
Så selvom det ikke var et godt nok skud, jeg ville have haft det lidt lavere, så ser vi faktisk, at en blyfri kugle, som ikke strike silencer på 130 meter, mm. faktisk stadig ekspanderer, og dyret dør, falder på stedet. Funker perfekt. Så trods det ikke har været en perfekt skudplacering, så står vi med et dyr, der ikke bly, men falder på skud. Og det tror jeg på også, fordi kuglen den har ekspanderet, som den har gjort. We've been super privileged to hunt at Matthias hunting ground, but here they also sell the wild boar meat to a butcher. So for that reason we cannot uh, butcher the whole wild boar now. So what we've done, we have... Uh, come on, you can do it. <laughs> so well, what we have done was that we grilled it, we took all the uh, stomach out of it. We had a look um, on the shot placement, the impact and the exit hole which we couldn't say that much about, except that the bullet did work very, very good. Even with a not as good shot placement, it expanded probably, and it did like a drop down effect. So the wild boar went exactly where we should have. So I am actually really, really satisfied, except if we're gonna talk about meat waste here, which we're gonna do. I shot maybe like the first quarter of the fillet off, but that's how it is. <laughs> we had a great hunt this evening. I think it was tough, even though we had success in the first outing. Um, it was tough because the wild boars were standing very close to each other. So it was difficult to get one wild boar out of the group to get a safe shot. Um, but luckily we had a really, really good bullet ground behind all the animals, almost depending on which anim, uh, angle they were standing at. Um, so that was super. And that's something we have to have in mind when we are talking about lead free, because this is a copper bullet, which is hard material. So it has a higher tendency to ricochet if it hits, for example, um, stones. Um, so that is something you have to have in mind, but of course always have safety in mind when you are hunting, uh, also if it's lead bullets, but especially also if it is lead free bullets. Hunting with leftry requires that you are cleaning your rifle just a bit more often since the copper residues in the barrel uh, needs to be removed. I just do it after a hunt using this one, putting through the barrel, take it out a couple of times. We are packing up after a successful wild boar hunt here in Sweden with my good friends. And it doesn't limit the way you hunt when you're using lead free, but there is a few things you have to keep in mind. For example, the safety due to the ricochet. Also, the distance, regular hunting distance is well proven that it works. And besides that, have in mind that you have to clean the barrel just a tiny bit more often, um, but that's always a good idea. I hope that you find this episode educational. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. See you.